Why do you think the offense struggled the way that it did tonight? Uh, well, part of it is they're a very good defensive team. Um, they're switching on and off the ball. You know, it just forces you to, uh, you know, make make the right read at the, at the right time. Uh, they kind of bottle you up with their physicality. Um, their bigs are down the floor, and you know, kind of, it, it's tough to kind of get uh, open threes. Uh, their length at the rim. Um, but, you know, they're a very good defensive team. I thought we kind of fell into that at times, and we started to stagnate. Um, some of those possessions were, I think, haphazard, <laughs> and we didn't own our spots at times. Guys got into us, and we got pushed around a bit. Um, but uh, we've seen that before. You know, I think it's just one of those things we have to continue to work through. Uh, was very little difference, you know, in the second group. That fourth quarter, obviously different personnel, but um, just the uh, the energy we played with, I thought was was better. Halftime, like after the second quarter, in which you scored. Well, we we show clips as we normally do. Um, just kind of talk through some things, some situations, offensively, um, touch on some things I thought would help us. Um, you know, to kind of combat some of the switching. Uh, you know, and I thought we we generated some decent looks, but you know, struggled to make them. Uh, and obviously, the, the you know, offensive rebounding was an issue, uh, especially in the second half. Uh, but, you know, I think it's one of those things where we just have to kind of continue to keep fighting. And I thought we did that in the third, into the third and fourth quarter. Uh, once you just kind of mentioned the energy for a second there, I wanted to know what you thought about in the beginning, because, you know, you're hoping some of that carried over from the Sixers. It seemed like those first couple of minutes you had it, and then seemed like they got away a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I think it's not for the lack of effort to begin the game. I just think we got a little discouraged when, um, you know, you come out and they make it tough. You know, they make, make everything difficult. Um, and that's where we just have to kind of, we got to push back. And, and, and that's okay. We, I think at times when it gets tough, we give in a little bit, um, you know, you, you get away from you know, some of the things and start shortcutting routes and, um, you know, you don't own your spots uh, and that, that really stagnates the offense. You mentioned kind of stagnating the offense. How much of that is a snowball effect when you don't see shots go in and then you get the 11 in the second quarter? How much of that just snowballed for you guys? Uh, it felt, felt like quite a bit, um, but I think that's part of it, you know, and then on the flip side, we, you, you at times can play solid defense and, you know, good players make tough shots. So it's deflating, but, um, you know, that that's where you have to have that mental fortitude of, okay, continue to do the right thing, continue to try and play the right way, and good things will happen. What made Aiden so tough? Was it just the pick and roll? With yeah, I mean, that's, that's his bread and butter. Um, mm -hmm. He's the benefactor of a lot of that, um, his size and ability. Um, and obviously when he, you know, is able to set up shop and, and be big at the rim, you know, he's, he's a problem. Thomas Bryant, um, you know, was putting up good numbers uh, in his bench role, and then now as a starter hasn't been scoring quite a bit, quite as much. What, what do you think adjustment he needs to make to kind of get back to what he was doing a couple weeks ago? Well, I think with you know with him coming off the bench at times, um, you know, you're, you're playing with a different group, um, and you know whether it's the starters or you know there's obviously a pecking order, and um, you know you're not probably getting the same looks or we're running the same actions, but um, the flow is going to feel different. Um, you know, and I, that's just a one of those things where you're, you're in that different pairing, um, of finding that synergy, find your balance, find a rhythm with the group that you're on the floor with. And the uh, rebound with quite a margin um, in their favor. What, what went wrong in the glass tonight? Well, a lot of the offensive rebounds, thankfully, they didn't capitalize so much. But, uh, you know, I think some of that, too, is we missed so many shots. Of course, they're going to have, you know, more de defensive rebound. Uh, but the offensive rebounds, yeah, it's it's just more of a, a mindset. You, know, you can't ball watch. You got to get in the mix. Um, they're they're bigs do a terrific job of collecting offensive rebounds. So it's got to be a a mindset that all all five get in there. Went to gap a little bit there in the third quarter. Was that just looking for something different, or was you wanted to get get a man that was kind of the game plan? I know you've been shortening that rotation. No, it was just something different. I mean, I think same with Davis, and um, you know we weren't playing well, and I just wanted to change it up and see if that energy would uh, help spark something. Obviously a tough night for you guys offensively. Um, what made it so difficult out there tonight? Um, I, I was spacing. You know, I feel like we wasn't 
spacing enough uh, for people to either get good looks or to get driving lanes. Um, a lot of had to do with like our screening. We're not screening to get uh, a lot of people open. Um, it's a lot, you know, uh, just playing basketball, really. You know, we don't, I feel like we, we lose ourselves a lot when we find ourselves down. Uh, we, you know, someone has to be the hero and we are just taking bad shots, you know, and not playing for each other. Um, I feel like that's our biggest, you know, that was the biggest offensive like let down tonight. How would you describe the, the mood of the team right now, the vibe, you know, having lost seven in the last eight? I mean, who wants to lose seven out of eight, you know? Uh, the the vibes and, you know, everybody's trying to figure it out, you know, trying to figure out what's going on uh, with each other, you know, what's going on on the court, why we can't play with each other. You know, a lot of things, you know, it's going through everybody's mind. Uh, but that's that's – one thing we can't let dictate, you know, uh, on the court action. Uh, whatever it is, you know, you got to leave it once you touch that court. You know, you gotta, we playing for each other. Lose, win, or draw. So we we got to get back to that, I feel like. How do you want to get back to that? Uh, like I just said, like just letting, you know, whatever you have, you know, going on, you know, mentally, physically, I mean, physically, you know, you want to get that checked out, get it work, get your treatment and stuff like that. But mentally, you just, you know, we got to let some things go. You know, we can't hold on to the last game or, like, what the, what the last person did last minute. You know, we can't let that dictate, you know, the rest of the game or, like, the flow of the game, which we, you know, and sometimes, you know, we, ha we do have that flow. But, you know, it gets out of hand and we lose control of it, you know, and then we get back to what we – no, normal to, you know, just playing one-on-one -on -one ball and not team ball. You just kind of mentioned it a little bit, you know, in the way things go. How difficult is that, you know, when you're down big at halftime and still kind of come up with that juice and and same juice and energy that maybe you would have had if it was a closer game? I imagine it's probably tough to do, do something. Um, I mean, we don't done it before. Being down big, you know, you've seen the fight in us that we – we fought back, came back, you know, we can do it. You know, we just, with us, it's just consistency. You know, we don't have that consistency uh, when we, we, we are playing. Um, and that's that's one of the big things, you know, that we emphasize is consistency and then communication. Like, it's a lot slips with communication. And we, I don't know what it is. You know, we, we love talking to each other, you know what I'm saying? But when we get on the court, it's like, no one talks to each other. So it's that communication, it helps a lot. You know, it, it, it takes away, you know, it helps on the defensive end, you know, you know getting people, in, getting guys in position, you know, to defend, you know, or help. And then offense, you know, just talking everybody through it. You know, if someone don't know it, you know, talking through the play, you know, tell them to cut, get out, do this. You know, we just don't have that consistency in the, in the communication and just consistency of just, I would say, just playing hard. We hear a lot about uh, defensive communication. Um, who's like the best in the league at that? Like when they're on the court, it's like they make a major difference with their defensive communication. Um, I mean, it's, it's guys that tune into you know the defensive end. You no, know, it just for like who all who who watch film a lot. You know, know the coverage, the team coverage. You know, the guy that is no. It just, you know, pimp, like pointing out everything pretty much. Uh, I don't think we have that on this team. That can, that someone that can do that. Um, and it's just, I feel like, you know, we, we slip a lot on that as well. Uh, not being never like knowing personnel, you know, that's a, that that takes like a big part into the game as well. Like, because if we. Coaches are laying it out for us, you know what I'm saying? We're not paying attention to it, then of course we're gonna have them slips up. Uh, but that's what we we have to get better at. You know, just as far as like communicating, you know, consistency and, and just playing together. Like we we really I don't know if it's due to all star break, you know, trade deadlines or whatever it is, contracts, whatever it is, you know, a lot takes into you know the mental part, you know, the, the game is is, is ours. 
it's more mental than physical. So we got to be able to, you know, let go of things and just just play basketball. You know, it's, it's, it's just basketball. Neil. Okay, CP, when you talk about the communication and lack thereof, has that been a something that's come up recently in the last couple of weeks or kind of just, you know, throughout the entire season has been something you guys needed to improve? Uh, I feel like it's been throughout the season. That's something where we 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 have to strongly improve in, you know, the communication. Uh, and also just, like I said, you know, I want to keep repeating myself, but the consistency of, of that, you know, it, it helps on the court, you know, just being able to talk to someone, like get them in a position. Like now, if you, I'm talking to this person, now he knows like, I need to be in the position next time, you know? So just communication on that, that might get my, my teammate, his juices running, you know, his intensity going. So it's like, if I'm talking to him, he know what to do and moving. Now I got his intensity going, you know what I'm saying? And just trickle down to everybody else. Uh, you know, when you see someone just playing hard and they know, uh, and they doing it with effort, you know what I'm saying? I, my thing is, I was like, I don't, defense wise, I don't care if you mess up, you do it hard. You know what I'm saying? If you're in your position and you, you go for a steal, you miss it. If you're playing hard, we cover for you. You know what I'm saying? You're playing hard. So I, I don't think we have that a lot, a lot on this team. Like, it's just far we, when one guy's beat is, do I help? You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of like in, in, indecisive of, of, of the communication and help. Obviously, a tough night for you guys offensively. Uh, was it more their defense, or was there something you guys could have done differently to score more? Um, man, I, was, I don't know. Uh, so I know we're gonna have to go back and look at the film and kind of put in perspective of you know what they was kind of doing. But um, you know, I don't think we was ready to play once the ball was thrown up. Um, they jumped on us in the early lead, and you know they really didn't look back from there. Um, so at the end of the day, um, and we can't just keep, you know, cruising in the games. You know, we got to be ready to play once the ball is thrown up, um, and we're going to need everybody on our bench um, to be ready as well. So, you know, like I said, we can't really just cruise in the games. I think guys are just going to um, come in and kind of check our temperature, you know, so. Why do you think you guys weren't ready? I guess how specifically weren't you ready? Was it an energy thing or a preparation? Uh, man, I'm, I, don't, I don't know, but I'm tired of hearing the energy thing, bro. Like, if you can't energize yourself or, or fire yourself up to be able to come here to play the game of basketball, brother, which is your job, and you make a lot of money to do it, brother, then you're in the wrong field, man. So I, I'm I'm tired of hearing that, bro. Like, all right, that's just an excuse. Simple as that. Like, if you got to have somebody pep you up or fire you up in order to get out here and play basketball, brother, that you make millions of dollars to do, not going to a corporate job, you know, millions of dollars to play the game of basketball, then you're in the wrong profession, bro. You already lost. Thank you. Communication on the court. I mean, obviously it's not there. Um, as you can see, when teams go out and you know score easily as they do, they move the ball, hopping around, and you know they end the possession with layups and you know walking in for dunks or you know just wide open shots. You know, obviously the communication isn't there. Um, and as far as you know the offensive end, um, I feel like you know just uh, we're just trying to do too much. I mean, we need to just play within our system. Let the ball, you know, flow around, um, swing around, hop around like we did in uh, Philly because we shown that we could do it. And, you know, we'll stand those type of efforts and we'll stand those type of runs, man. Um, we, we don't need nobody, um, you know, including myself on the team to try to play hero ball or try to get it back all in one possession, man. We got to do it as a collective group um, on both ends of the floor. Simple as that. Could you talk a little bit about the defensive communication? And, and you, like you just said, you know you guys have done it before. You guys have done it for a long stretch at the beginning of the season and in spots there. How do you find that consistently? Consistency. Um, I don't know, brother. Uh, I don't know. You know, I'm trying to do the best I can, you know, um, from a leadership standpoint, um, as far as our team goes. But um, it's not, you know, something that, you know, I feel like I'm going to have to figure out or, you know, one person on our team is going to have to figure out. It's going to have to be a collective group, not just players, but coaches as well. Um, but at the end of the day, man, uh, we don't have much time, to, you know, to keep going through these trial and errors and, you know, trying to figure it out because at the same time, man, we're piling on losses, man. And, you know, this, this, both sides of it, East and West, you know, this, this is tough. It's a tough year for everybody, man. Guys dealing with injury, guys got COVID, um, you know, waiting, sitting time that you had to sit out from the COVID protocols, man. So there's a lot that goes into it, man. So 
the way that we started out at the beginning of the year, yeah, it was great. And like I told y'all at the beginning, bro, it, it, it was because nobody knew us. You know, nobody knew what our, our identity was, bro. But after you play those couple of games and now you're playing the teams over and over again, you know, seeing them more times than once, man, that they have film on you. They, they know what you want to do. They know what you try to get to. So we got to stop going into each game thinking that, you know, every game is going to be like the last game we play because it's not the case. So... I mean, that's just what I feel about the the, the situation. Um, but, you know, somebody else on our team or somebody else in the locker room can see something differently. But, you know, me, myself, I just feel like we're going to the game thinking that, you know, the set plan or, or whatever we have, you know, laid out in that instance of that night is just going to be what works, you know, and that's not the case, man. We got to learn how to, you know, play on the fire, make adjustments and, you know, be able to, you know, fix it and try to correct things, you know, once they happen. You know, I just, and I just feel like we just, you know, kind of stay with, you know, I guess what what we're trying to make work, I guess. You know. These last uh, seven or eight games, losing seven and eight, just kind of, what's the mood of the team right now as you guys try to get out of this and get back on track? It sucks, bro. That's the mood of the team. Fucking sucks. We're coming in here and, you know, teams are basically, you know, beating our ass, bro, from start to finish. So uh, it sucks, man. Nobody likes losing. Um, everybody in our locker room are competitive-minded um, people and, you know, love to compete and get out there. But, I mean, it just sucks right now because, like you said, you know, out of eight games of, or the last eight games we played, you know, we lost seven of them. I mean, and you know, it's tough for anybody to kind of, you know, withstand or be able to kind of, you know, have on their plate. So, you know, that, that's the energy in the room right now. Um, it just fucking sucks. Um, you know, but I don't think nobody in the locker room has, you know, quit. You know, I don't think nobody in the locker room has uh, given up. And I think we're more so just frustrated trying to figure it out and, you know, trying to understand what really works more so than anything. But, um, you know, my perspective is, you know, it just fucking sucks. Um, you know, being in the locker room, coming in, you know, night in, night out, and, you know, it's, it's ending with a loss. You know, I love to, you know, compete. I love to win. You know, I love to you know, be able to help my team win. So I think that's, you know, over our engine locker room right now.